Hey, what's up everyone? So I got a new job and this has been my first week living in the new minivan conversion. Uh, I've made a few changes to it since the last video, so I'll show you guys what I've done. Um, but it's still not perfect. I need to make a few changes here and there, so I'll talk about that too. But the diesel heater's been working really good. Um, I'm working the night shift again, midnight to 8 a.m. So I usually run the heater maybe two or three hours every night. And I think I only went through about $5 worth of diesel this week, so not too bad at all. But I can tell you, this new setup is way better than before. So much more comfortable. I'm really happy with how it turned out. But anyways, let's take a look. So first up, I now have 200 watts of solar on the roof. And I built a new rack, so it's kind of hidden from sight. Unless you really look closely or climb up on top, you can't really tell that it's solar up there. Um, but this is something I'd like to improve upon eventually. I'm a little bit paranoid because I built it out of wood. I built it strong, but uh, metal would be better, so hopefully... I can afford to get a custom rack built in the future and hidden underneath of there is a max air vent so on the back i just added some random shelves it'd be nice to go over this again and make it a bit better um, if only i had just a little bit more room i could build some cabinets back here but uh, what i think i'm going to do is put an arm on the right hand side that swings up and i can use it as a work stand for my bike when i store my bike with the wheels off it opens up a lot of room above it and I think I might use that space to build a big cabinet all the way across that wall. Right now I'd say I have 95% of my belongings in here and I'd like to get it up to 100%. I think I said in the last video that it was an 85 amp hour battery, but it's actually a 79. But this past week it's been more than I need. My charge controller will give me a warning if the voltage level drops too low and so far that hasn't happened. It's a long term thing, I'll have to wait and see if I'll ever have to increase the capacity there. But for the summer I think I should be good. I think a lot of people got a good laugh out of my relaxed position and how uncomfortable it was. Someone suggested that I should change my bed into a lounge chair and that's what I did. A lot of people were wondering how big the bed is. Um, from the floor to the top of the mattress is 15 inches and it's about 22 inches wide. And I'm five foot seven and the bed is five foot nine long. Um, if I'm laying on my back, I find it's just not quite long enough to fully stretch out. But I think I can fix that because there's still some space left over behind the seat and this wall. So I might cut this out and extend the bed into that section and build like a full wall that goes up here. This is the Max Fan Mini Deluxe and I picked this one because it only stands four inches above the roof. Um, the regular models require a whole lot more clearance above to pop the lid open and with my uh, solar panel up there I just wouldn't have worked out. But since I just have a bare sheet metal roof I had to build a three quarter inch thick frame around it. And this thing's basically always open other than this little slide here. And you can use it in the rain or whatever and it also has a built in light which is pretty cool. It doesn't move quite as much air as the regular models. This one's 200 CFM compared to 800 CFM but for a small little area like this it's perfectly fine. I think I said in my first van video that I didn't want to cook in here because I didn't want to deal with dishes. But uh, now that I have a vent and now that I've been eating basically the same thing for the past five months it's nice to be able to cook a meal in here and uh, it's also something to do to keep myself busy with. But it also introduced a new problem because if I cook over here most of the steam will go up into that corner and not get sucked out. So I need to build some kind of pull out drawer that I can cook up on top of and all the steam can go directly out the vent. This is just a cheap inverter that I got off of Amazon and I regret buying it. It doesn't seem to work well with my chargers. It makes a lot of weird noises too for some reason. But I'm probably going to have to eventually upgrade to a nice pure sine wave inverter. So one of the comments was that I wasted a lot of space building it like this. But I built it like this because I wanted to have a fully enclosed area. And also it's just so much easier to work with flat walls. I, th I think it just gives you the best possible starting point for your build. Um, one of the first problems that I faced was I wanted to have the bed on top of the wheel well and uh, it was just too high so when I put this wall in it left a cavity of space behind it but that actually worked out in my favor 
because then I could mount the diesel tank on the other side of this wall and a few shelves there. So that's one thing to think about. If you want to do a build similar to this, don't just think about the interior. Think about how you can use the exterior of the walls as well to your advantage. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.